At least 17 states in the central United States have heat advisories and warnings in place. The intense heat is spreading to the East Coast this morning, and CBS News correspondent Cynthia Bowers has the latest from a very sticky Chicago. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning. I woke up and it felt like 94. Our heat index today could be 105. People in the Midwest, though, are talking a lot about the dew point. That's the actual measure of water vapor in the air. Yesterday, Minnesota set an all-time record for a dew point of 86 degrees. That steaminess is comparable only to that of the Brazilian rainforest. In Chicago, with heat indexes over 100,000 sought relief in the relatively chilly 78-degree waters of Lake Michigan. In Oklahoma, there's no place to hide. Temperatures have been 90 or more for 47 straight days in Oklahoma City, topping 100 nearly every day this month. The governor asked for a statewide day of prayer in the hopes of divine intervention. Across the country, this month's searing summer heat has tied or broken high temperature records nearly 900 times. A half dozen cities set new all-time highs. But for millions of Americans, it's not just the heat, it's the lack of rain. Fires have burned nearly 5 million acres so far this year. That's twice the annual average. Nearly one-third of the country is suffering drought conditions. Three-quarters of Texas is in extreme drought with less than five inches of rain from February through June. Which is why farmers and ranchers in the Texas Panhandle County support controversial cloud seeding efforts. That's injecting silver iodide into rain clouds to get them to produce more rain. They're very supportive of our program and they they obviously think it works. So if it was not effective, we probably wouldn't have the program. But critics say cloud seeding has harmful consequences, creating rain that's toxic to humans and the environment. We're getting plenty of real rain here, but it's only recycling back to create higher humidities. And we are headed into what is now going to be typically the hottest part of the summer. Rebecca? CBS's Cynthia Bowers in Chicago bearing the heat for us. Thanks, Cynthia.